Hi there, today we're unboxing an indoor IP camera. So this particular camera is by a company called NRJ. It's a one megapixel PTZ camera. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's have a quick look around the packaging. Comes really nicely packaged. Obviously with a picture of the actual camera there. Some details on the functionality of the camera. Branding there. Picture of the app. Okay. And finally, some details there regarding the actual camera. Okay, so let's open it up, see what we get in the packaging. So initially, you get the camera. Let's pop that out. Okay, if I take this out, get some instructions as well. Another box here. Some additional cables bracket and a power adapter on there. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging, so let me quickly go through them. So initially you've got a user manual, just to show that. Pretty straightforward to set up, all in English as well, which is great. Okay, then you've got some fixtures, two raw plugs and two screws. And then you've got some fixtures to actually allow you to mount this in an area, so on a ceiling, on a side of a wall, for example. So let me come in close briefly, if I can show. So one end has that on there, and inside here you also see a similar pattern. So that indicates how you attach it. Then you put this into the side. There's a bit here that just locks it. So now what you'll notice, once I tighten this, let me loosen it a little bit. So it sort of clips into position. Okay, and this goes at the back, and this allows you to attach the camera. So like I say, if you wanted to attach it on a ceiling, for example, obviously the screws will go at the bottom. You can attach it like that, or on the side of a wall, like so. Pretty straightforward. Build quality seems reasonably good on that. Okay, next thing to show, the actual power adapter pops up and obviously you can fit it into a standard UK socket. Output is five volts, thousand milliamps. Okay, cable to connect it. It's good, it's just a micro USB to USB. Ample cable on there actually, lots and lots. So that's good. And build quality of the cable seems pretty good. Okay, so I've just measured the length of the cable and it's 1.8 meters in length. Okay, so the actual camera itself, very nice design on there, finish around there. Let's take the actual cover off the lens just to show. And it's motorized as well. And if I push it up, you can see where the micro SD card goes. Obviously the bottom is where you can mount it. If I come round here, you've got an on button and the point where you insert the power and that's it. Build quality seems really nice on there. And again, if I show the bottom, that's motorized as well. So PTZ functionality is obviously via this moving and this moving. So yeah, it feels like a really nice camera. You've got obviously a grill here, that must be the speaker on there. And I can't see any other holes, so that probably incorporates the microphone as well on there. So yeah, pretty good. Okay, so let's make a start at setting this up. So I've got my Android phone here, and the Play Store icon's just there. Let me start that up. And we wanna search for NRJ Smart, so that's the app you want. So let me click on that and let's hit install. Give it a moment to install. Okay, so the app installed. Now let's click open. And the next thing you wanna do is register an account. So if I click on there, privacy policy is there. You can have a read through that and then you can agree it and then enter in your details. So let me do that off camera. Okay, so I've registered my account, so let me log in. And first time you log in, this is what you're presented with. So the next thing you wanna do is add device. So I'll click there. And we wanna search for smart camera, which is just there. 
and the next thing is to set up the camera. So that's pretty straightforward. Okay, so next, let's connect up the actual camera. So just before we connect the wires, I've got a micro SD card here, which is 64 gig, and let's place that into the slot just under here. Okay, you see it click, and if you want to take it out, very simple, just push it again. Okay, so that's in. Next thing, the cable. So we'll put the micro USB connector in, like so. And the other end, obviously the USB side, will connect here. Simple as that, and we'll plug that in right now. Okay, you can faintly see a red light there. No other indicators on there. Okay, so let's put it down and give it a moment to initialize. Okay, system setup. Okay, please configure Wi-Fi. Okay, so next, let me take my mobile. Okay, we'll click next and I'll enter in my Wi-Fi password off camera. Okay, so I've entered in my Wi-Fi password and I'm presented with a QR code on there. So now I'm gonna hold the camera in front of the actual phone and let the phone scan in the QR code and that will have the connectivity details. There you go. Successfully scanned in. Okay, so the camera's connected onto the Wi-Fi and now the app's attempting to connect and there you go, it's shot ahead. And there you go, camera's added. Done. And there you go, that should be a live image. If I push it down, simple as that to set up. Okay, so now the camera's set up via the app. Let me show you around the actual app. So this is what you'll see in there. So the camera's added in under the name NRJ Smart Indoor. If I click on it, it's attempting to connect and the signal strength is 97%. You've got a date there, you've got a time there, you've got a speaker icon, so you can listen in, and obviously SD, standard definition, and HD for high definition, and then you've got a button there to go into full screen. Picture quality is really good. If I click on there for a second and click on here, it requires access to record audio, so we'll allow that. Give it a moment. Testing, one, two, three. Oh. Obviously, this is right next to the phone, so obviously you're gonna get an echo, but there you go, two-way audio on there. There you go, brief test of that. Let's go back. Okay, so as well as that, obviously you've got alarm. So this is motion detection. So let me turn that on. So interesting, you could have it on all day or you can schedule it for a certain time. So turn on motion detection at this time and turn it off at that time. Quite useful, I haven't seen that sort of functionality too often. Uh, and sensitivity levels, low, medium and high. So if I went back, let's give it a second. And I'm just gonna move my hand in front of it See if it picks that up. And that's what you see, you see an alert come in. Okay, and then you've got another speak option there. Oh, before it goes crazy. Direction, that's to control the PTZ functionality. Pretty responsive. Okay, record to initiate record. Okay, let that kick in, give it a moment. Okay, there you go, that's running now. Just needed permission, screenshot, grab a screenshot like that, and then playback. Obviously, you can play back the footage that's been recorded. You can pick a day that you wanna play back from, and then obviously initiate a recording from here as well. Pretty straightforward functionality, and again, screenshot on there. 
and then you've got the three dots which are here if I click there you can modify the device name you can share it with other people you've got device info here where you can actually see the IP address MAC address details basic feature settings if I go in there you can flip the image or even change the actual audio mode on there okay let's go back motion detection settings it's already seen that one under alarm SD card settings there's a capacity being shown that's what's used at the moment select a recording mode so you can say event recording so that would be in a situation where alarms happened and then it will start recording then and continuous recording so at the moment it's on continuous recording format SD card it's always worth formatting it before you use it in case there's any other files on there just to get a clean situation and this is an interesting one it's actually got motion tracking on there so if I turn that on for instance and let me go back in a moment but then you've got feedback firmware info and remove device so let's go back let's go to live view and what should happen if I put my finger in front of it see motion detecting turns on and it also tries to actually follow the movement so pretty cool functionality there okay so while the camera's on my Wi-Fi and my device is on my Wi-Fi just to show the actual lag from this camera so if I move it slightly pretty responsive lag is minimal on this Okay, put it back into position and next I'm gonna turn off my Wi-Fi and let's just confirm connectivity so if I now move the camera nothing so far let's give it a moment let's come out go back on and there you go it's connected and this is a situation where we've not had to open any ports on our router. And there you go, simple as that, works without opening any ports. And you can remotely access the camera from another location. So obviously, just to note, there has to be a stable Wi-Fi connection to the camera and you need a data connection or Wi-Fi connection on your actual mobile device to be able to see it remotely. Okay, so this is test with the actual motion detection on. So I'm just walking along and what you should see in theory. There you go. It's like following me a little bit more. Let me move back. How cool is that? Great bit of functionality on here. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this indoor IP camera. Very simple to set up and use. Picture quality is great on there. Build quality of the actual camera is really good as well. And it comes with two-way audio on there. Obviously, the packaging does highlight it's compatible with Google Home and Amazon Alexa. But at the time of actually testing this, that functionality wasn't actually ready. So just to make you aware of that. Other than that, a great little camera. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.